just want to know why you guys clicked on this video because you want to know how to start a YouTube channel and I'm gonna dumb it down as dumb as possible bro because I did some research on this and bro every video that explains how to start a YouTube channel they just talk and talk about the randomest things I'm like bro just go straight to the point so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna go straight to the point I'm gonna tell you what you need to do and yeah I'm gonna make your life a lot easier so you guys see this beautiful camera right yeah you don't need it you guys see this new 2021 iMac Pro limited edition oh my gosh <gasps> yeah you don't need that either how about what the you need a, a beautiful tripod yeah yeah no you don't need that either. But one thing you do need, which I know all of you guys have, you need a phone. Literally, before you can start anything, you can use a phone to record and edit videos. And I know this is a lot of you guys' excuse. I don't have the equipment. I don't have a camera. I don't have a laptop. Bro, I gained over 140 subscribers using this. You see this? You see this? You see this? So literally, if you have a decent phone with decent quality, you can start your YouTube channel, no matter what it is. Okay, 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 okay. No excuses, bro. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips that I wish I knew before I started YouTube. These two apps that you wanna download if you're gonna use your phone is Video Shop and Pixanova. Video Shop is where you edit all your videos, you put the music, all the cuts, and then Superimpose X is where you edit all your thumbnails and all that good stuff. And before you say, but Caleb, the quality of the videos aren't gonna be that good on a phone, blah, 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 bro. These are the type of videos I've made using my phone. This is the ultimate burrito taste test. The other day, my brother said, yo, Caleb, where can I get the best burrito? And I said, bro, I don't know. And he said, can you help me find the best one? Well, let's get into the video, baby. You know, where we at? Six I was pulling up in She thought that a million dollars and these are the type of thumbnails that I have made from just my phone, not Photoshop, not laptop, none of that. Literally from my phone, bro. And I know a lot of you guys are better than me and can make better videos about interesting stuff. So if I can gain a hundred, then some of you guys can gain a thousand or even more with just a phone. Okay, okay, so no excuses. The second thing you need to figure out when you're starting your channel is to figure out your niche. And what that means is to figure out what your channel is gonna be about. What videos are you gonna post? So before you start your channel, just figure out what type of videos that you would like to make and that you want to make but here's the coolest thing about youtube there's no rules you can post whatever you want at the end of the day if you want to post your channel just gym videos you can do that if you want to have gym videos and funny videos you can do that and but a lot of people they just want to stick to one thing they only want to use one idea bro you can use all your ideas it doesn't matter bro but before people start their channel they're like i don't know what to post i don't know what videos i'm gonna make i used to be the same way literally almost every week i'm just like bro what video am i gonna post i don't know what video i want to do but then i stop and just you use my brain for a second. I think for 30 minutes or an hour and I'm like, oh, okay. I figured out what I wanted to post. Think, Mark. So yeah, no excuses. Once again, you can do it. Skadoosh. Now the third thing I want to tell you guys is you're going to have to get out your comfort zone. Like you're, you're, you're just going to have to, you're going to be uncomfortable no matter what. I've seen this so many times where people have the equipment, they have their phone, they have a camera, laptop. They already know what they're going to post. They already know what type of videos they want to do. But guess what? They they just don't record. They always lay it off because they don't want to be uncomfortable. They don't want to film in public. They don't even want to film alone because they just have anxiety or they just don't want to do it. <laughs> like, bro, it's going to happen no matter what. It's the uncomfortableness is not going to go away. So you just need to start it. You just need to do it. And the thing is, it's all about practice. So the more and more you do it, then the more comfortable you're going to be while doing it. Literally, when I started my channel, I posted like two or three videos, right? No one knew I had a channel. But then eventually I was like, you know what? I'm going to tell my mom, bro, when I tell you, I was so nervous, so uncomfortable. I was like, but guess what? I got out my comfort zone and I did it. I did what I had to do, bro. And look where I'm at now. I'm at what, 170 subscribers and all that. I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I didn't get out my comfort zone. Look at Mr. Beast, bro. This dude has to talk to all these people in public, has to give money to all these people. This dude was buried underground for like a whole day. And you guys want to think he's not uncomfortable? Bro, there has to be so many moments where he's uncomfortable to talk to someone or say something or any of that type of stuff. Like, bro, it, it just comes with the job, bro. It, it, just, it just comes with it, bro. And the only way 
you're gonna get more comfortable doing it is if you start. Hey. So the final thing I wanna say is something that I learned from Rice Gum. The one thing he has said that actually helped me a lot is he said, if you wanna grow on YouTube, if you wanna learn more about YouTube, you need to watch more YouTube. At first, I was confused. I was like, oh, what does that mean? How is watching more videos gonna help me? Before you make a video, before you do anything, look at what other YouTubers are doing. Look at how they're editing their videos. Look at how they're talking to the camera. Look at how they do their thumbnails. Listen to what sound effects they have on there. There's so much that goes into one video that you can learn about. The thing is, you're not gonna know anything about it if you don't watch more YouTube videos. So for example, if you're gonna do vlogging, look at what other vlogging channels are doing. Look at how they're talking to the camera. Look at what shots they have. Right? Listen to the sound effects they have. Listen to just everything. Watch everything. Pay attention to it. When you go in to edit your video, you're already gonna have background knowledge and you're already gonna know, okay, this song goes really good with the video. This shot looks really nice. Th this sound effects makes the video so much better. But the thing is, if you don't do any of that, you're just gonna go into editing a video not really knowing what's good or bad and you're just gonna make something. And you don't know how many times I've gotten so many ideas from other YouTube videos. I'm like, bro, that sound effect is so good. I'm gonna use that. Bro, that soundtrack is so perfect, bro. I'm gonna use that, bro. Bro, look at that edit he made on the thumbnail. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to do the same thing. It looks so nice. Literally, just watch more YouTube and I'm telling you, it's gonna take you so far. Now, I'm not saying spend hours on it and put all your time into it. I'm just saying, if you really wanna learn and get better at making videos, just watch more YouTube videos, see what other people are doing and I'm telling you, it'll take you a long way. <laughs> so to recap on everything, you don't need all this equipment at all. And if you already have a nice camera like this and a nice laptop to edit, bro, you are already so far ahead. If you're not already making YouTube videos, you're slacking. You, you need to do it right now. And then you need to figure out what type of videos you're gonna post. Literally just sit there, think, and just figure something out. Trust me, if you just spend some time thinking, you'll figure something out. The third thing, get out your comfort zone. You're gonna be uncomfortable no matter what. If you you don't wanna be uncomfortable, making a YouTube channel and making YouTube videos is gonna be really hard for you. So just do it, Nike, just do it. Just do it. And the final tip I'll have for you is watch more YouTube, look at all the other YouTubers, see what they're doing and learn from them. So I hope this video was simple enough. I didn't want to overcomplicate things like all these other YouTubers do. This was a simple, really dumbed down video that I wish I had when I started YouTube. So what are you waiting for? Start the YouTube channel, bro. You're here for a reason. Start it, bro. Start it, bro. This is your sign from God to start your YouTube channel. Do it. Well, anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, bro fam we is out kaboom <sighs> 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 <sighs>